You won't believe the bizarre geology laws that exist in the USA. Prepare to be shocked. This video uncovers the quirks and oddities of USA geology and weird laws you never knew existed. Join us on a journey through the strange and unexpected side of American geology. Now geography is not just about mountains and rivers, it's also about the weird and the wonderful. Before we continue, welcome to edutainment. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe for more great content. Now grab your popcorn and be prepared to be entertained. All right, the beautiful Yellowstone National Park, a place of stunning beauty, geysers, and a zone of death. Yes, you heard that right, a zone of death. There's a 50 square mile area in Yellowstone where technically no law applies. I sure wouldn't want to be caught there with an enemy. It's a legal loophole that exists due to the park spanning multiple state lines. Moving on. Did you know that in the state of California, it is illegal to hunt whales from a moving vehicle? Hat's right, so make sure to park your car before attempting to catch a whale. I wonder what would make them come up with such a law. Drive by whaling? Now check this out. If you think you've got your cardinal directions straight, well, think again. If you were to travel directly south from Detroit, what is the first foreign country you would hit? Did someone say Mexico? No, you're wrong. Canada. Confused? Well, Detroit is actually north of Canada at one point, and here's a final mind-bender. Reno, Nevada, known for its casinos and desert landscapes, is farther west than the beachy, palm-lined streets of Los Angeles. So, next time you're looking at a map, remember these quirks that make the USA's geography so unique. Imagine being arrested for carrying an ice cream cone in your back pocket. Welcome to some of the USA's most bizarre laws. Yes, you heard it right. In Alabama, there's a law on the books that makes it illegal to stroll around with a sweet treat hanging out of your back pocket. Why would someone want to walk around with an ice cream cone in their back pocket? Talk about weird. While we're on the topic of strange legislation, let's take a detour to the natural state Arkansas. Here you better brush up on your pronunciation skills because it's actually illegal to mispronounce the state's name while you're within its borders. So, remember it's Arkansas, not Arkansas. And if you thought those were odd, consider this. In Arizona, donkeys aren't allowed to sleep in bathtubs. Huh? When you thought you have heard it all. This law dates back to the late 19th century, when a local flood washed a farmer's tub-bathing donkey away. To prevent such a tragedy from happening again, the law was put into place. Talk about a strange solution to a strange problem. Moving on to Nevada, did you know that it is illegal to use camels on highways? So if you were planning on taking your camel for a spin, you might want to reconsider, but I thought camels were native to the African continent. I just got a dose of brain overload. I wonder why. But these laws may seem unusual, even hilarious, but they're a part of what makes the United States such a unique tapestry of tradition, history, and yes, a fair share of weirdness. So be sure to keep these laws in mind next time you visit these states. You never know when they might come in handy. History isn't always what it seems. Did you know the first capital of the USA wasn't Washington, D.C.? Indeed, the honor of being the first capital city of the United States goes to Philadelphia. This bustling city served as the nation's capital from 1781 to 1783, and then again from 1790 to 1800, while Washington, D.C. was being built. Now let's jump from politics to pop culture. Before his time in the Oval Office, Gerald Ford, past U.S. president, strutted his stuff in front of the camera as a fashion model. Yes. Gerald Ford, the 38th president, was a cover star for Cosmopolitan magazine in the 1940s. Bet you didn't see that one coming. And speaking of the unexpected, did you know the United States purchased Alaska from Russia for just $7.2 million in 1867? That's roughly two cents an acre. Talk about a bargain. Today, Alaska is home to the largest national park, the highest peak, and the longest coastline in the United States. But it's not just all about the big things. Even the everyday items we take for granted have surprising origins. Take the humble potato chip for instance. This popular snack was invented in Saratoga Lake, New York. Its inventor was George Speck, nicknamed Crumbs, the son of an African-American father and Native American mother. History has it that, one day a customer repeatedly sent his French fried potatoes back to the kitchen, complaining that they were too thick and soft. Speck's solution was to thinly slice the potatoes and fry them in grease till brown. The customer loved the crisps, and soon other guests began asking for them as well. Soon, Crumb's Saratoga chips became one of Lodge's most popular treats. These are just a few of the USA's hidden historical treasures. Ever heard of an underwater festival, or a celebration of a frozen dead guy? Welcome to America's unique cultural practices. 
Let's start with the underwater festival in Lower Key, Florida. Yes, you heard right. This unusual event started in 1984. The event aims to promote coral reef preservation and environmental awareness while providing a one-of-a-kind musical experience. Lou Key is known for its vibrant coral formations and abundant marine life, making it an ideal spot for such an event. Now let's head over to Colorado for the Frozen Dead Guy Days. This frosty festival is held in honor of Bredo Morstol, whose body has been cryogenically frozen and stored in a shed since 1984. Each year the town of Nederland celebrates with events like coffin racing and a parade complete with hearses, and who could forget about the annual Roadkill Cooking Festival in West Virginia where adventurous eaters gather to sample dishes like squirrel gravy over biscuits and teriyaki marinated bear. Or, the World Championship Pumpkin Chunkin' event in Delaware, where competitors launch pumpkins as far as they can using a variety of homemade contraptions, from the odd to the outrageous, these festivals and cultural practices showcase the wonderfully eccentric spirit of America. They may seem strange to outsiders but for locals, they're a cherished part of their cultural fabric, uniting communities with shared traditions and a dash of the unexpected. These unique practices prove there's never a dull moment when it comes to American culture. From deep-fried beer to glow-in-the-dark ice cream, the USA is the home of innovation, no matter how strange. Let's dive into some of the most bizarre brain children this country has to offer. First up, we have the Pet Rock. Yes, you heard that right. In the mid-70s, Gary Dahl sold ordinary rocks as if they were living pets complete with a cardboard carrier and breathing holes. This little oddity made him a millionaire in less than a year. Talk about taking something for granted. Next let's talk about food. The land of the free is also the land of the deep fried. From Oreos to butter, if it exists, Americans have probably fried it. But the crown jewel of this calorific kingdom has to be the deep fried beer. Served at the Texas State Fair it's a ravioli pocket filled with beer, a hot pocket of hop if you will. And let's not forget fashion. Cowboy boots are a classic. But the cowboy boot roller skates? Now that's a sight to behold. Combining the Wild West with the disco era this invention surely had people rolling in style. These crazy inventions show just how far creativity can go in the land of opportunity. From the innovation oddities let's move on to some of the most unique places you can find in the USA. This country is full of surprises isn't it? First up, we're heading to Whittier, Alaska. This is a town where almost all residents live under one roof, in a single building called Begich Towers. Imagine having your apartment, police station, school, store, and even your church all in the same building. But the uniqueness doesn't stop there. The town is also only accessible by a single tunnel that closes during the night. Talk about exclusivity. Now let's take a trip to Mecca, but not the one you're thinking of. We're off to Mecca, California, home to the International Banana Club Museum. This museum holds the world record for the largest collection dedicated to any one fruit. With over 17,000 banana-related items ranging from stuffed bananas and banana-shaped carvings to records, tools, and clothing, this place is bananas literally. These outstanding places are just another proof of how diverse and creative the USA is. From the chilly Alaskan town living under one roof to a museum that's bananas for bananas, the USA indeed has a place for every peculiar passion and lifestyle. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on notifications on all your devices so you can be notified when we drop the next awesomeness.